वेलकम एट क्रिएटर्स टू योर वेरी ओन बाय यू सिक्स टू एट चैनल एंड टुडे वी हैव दिस सेशन ऑफ तैयारी एग्जाम की यस आई एम योर फिजिक्स एक्सपर्ट सौरभ एंड हाय एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू द क्लास आई एम योर टीचर अंकिता एंड आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी फॉर दिस क्विज फिजिक्स वर्सेस बायो फिजिक्स वर्सेस बायो देखो वैसे तो दोनों साइंस हैं ये तो तुम्हारे लिए हम लोग वर्सेस कर रहे हैं बट इट्स ओके इट्स अ फन थिंग टू हैव राइट कंपटीशन इज ऑलवेज हेल्दी तो फिजिक्स वर्सेस बायो मेंटी क्विज है व्हिच मींस ऑसम तो होगा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पीपल हु आर न्यू सब्सक्राइब राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ दिस इज जस्ट अ ट्रेलर यू आर सीइंग वी कीप डूइंग दीस थिंग्स वी मेक श्योर यू लर्न ठीक है सब्सक्राइब राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर कमिंग योर वे अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट लाइक दिस वीडियो राइट नाउ व्हिच आई कैन सी सम ऑफ यू आर डूइंग अ अरे लाइक्स का टारगेट रख दिया था इन्होंने पहले ही वेरी गुड एवरीवन वेरी गुड Please make sure if you are new here, right? Please do take a moment and subscribe to the channel because now is a time where we, throughout the year, also we focus on the academics. But now, especially, we are focusing in such a way that you will ace your examination. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch all our amazing videos. Ooh. And जो बच्चे पूछ रहे हैं ना हम याद है याद है बिल्कुल याद है बिल्कुल याद है भाई. <laughs> you can choose bio or physics. That's fine. Samar saying physics bio से मतलब नहीं है मेरी जीत होनी चाहिए. हाँ ये. That's ये. also fine. हम उसी के साइड ऑल राइट कोई नहीं हम लर्निंग की साइड है पीस व्हाट डू यू से वी स्टार्ट बच्चों कोड इज गिवन टू यू ऑन द टॉप वन नाइन वन नाइन फोर थ्री नाइन सिक्स नाइनटीन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री नाइनटी सिक्स नाइनटीन नाइनटी तो याद रहना चाहिए हिस्ट्री वाले इंपॉर्टेंट डेट है नेशनल मूवमेंट में बहुत ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट डेट रही है अच्छा मैं की तरफ चला गया उससे मतलब हाँ उससे पहले वाले टाइम वो बुरा ही रहता सही बात है और फिर फोर्टी फोर्टी थ्री नाइनटी सिक्स एवरी वन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एवरी वन वेलकम वेलकम अंशिका दर्शन नदीवा पूजा मेमूर हर्षित मान्या दिशा सोनी कीर्तना बच्चों नाम पढ़ते पढ़ते शाम हो जाएगी सो इट्स ओके मैंने नाम इसलिए पढ़े सो देट यू रियलाइज ये लाइव है अदरवाइज यू वुड थिंग रिकॉर्डेड तो नहीं है ठीक है इट्स ओके वी वोट बी टू रीड ऑल ऑफ योर कॉमेंट क्योंकि भाई देखो चैट भाग रहा है तेजी से है ना और भागने भी चाहिए तेजी से हम लोग सब एक्साइटेड है Come on, log in right now. One nine one nine four three nine six. Let's see how many of you are here, waiting for players. अरे वाह, penguin भी आ गए हैं, football भी आ गई है. We have hundred and sixteen people right now, which is increasing. बच्चों, one seventy two of you are there live on the video right now. तो भाई कम से कम one seventy तो पहुँचो मेंटी पे. जल्दी से everyone, quickly yes. join the mentee and we have twenty four questions. Yes, very good everyone. So please make sure जल्दी से join करो. और जो बच्चे ज्वाइन करते जा रहे हैं प्लीज मेक श्योर यू हिट द लाइक बटन अरे प्रमिला पहला एक आते ही क्वेश्चन ना इस पर्सन बच्चा कुछ नहीं स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ हाइलाइट होता है यस यू आर कैटरपिलर ये रहा कैटरपिलर पर्पल अरे वाह पर्पल कैटरपिलर ओहो अच्छा ये तो था ठीक है फिर इस क्रॉल को चूज कर लेते हैं हां ये रहा कैटरपिलर कैटरपिलर यस एवरीवन कम ऑन यस फुटबॉल फॉर लाइफ आई ज्वाइन सर हाय जोश बहुत बढ़िया जोश तो हाई रहना चाहिए यार ये एक बात बताओ ये वीडियो वाले को जोश कम क्यों हो रहा है आई आई एम सीइंग ड्रॉप है 166 हैपेंड टुमारो साइंस एग्जाम तो हमें ऑल द बेस्ट बच्चों सम ऑफ यू माइट बी गिविंग योर एग्जाम सम ऑफ यू माइट हैव गिविंग योर एग्जाम्स ठीक है सो ऑल द बेस्ट हु हैव देयर एग्जाम्स कमिंग हां नहीं मतलब आप भी सॉरी सो ओह वी हैव 174 नाउ यस वेरी गुड एवरीवन हां सर वाज मेंशनिंग कि एग्जाम हो चुके हैं या फिर एग्जाम होने वाले हैं Please make sure you to stay with us. अगर एग्जाम हो चुके हैं, if you already gave the exam of class eighth, then what are you waiting for? Go and join ninth and tenth channel because after the March, right? After March, we will be starting with the foundation courses. So learning should never stop, right? Yes. So please make sure you subscribe to the other channel. आप लोगों को तो पता ही है, but if you want to explore more, if you want to you know sharpen your skills before you enter in your ninth class, please make sure you go and subscribe to the ninth and tenth channel and watch videos. चलो एंड आई थिंक दिस वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी लाइक डन एंड बाकी तो टुमारो इफ यू हैव संस्कृत एग्जाम एंड यू आर वाचिंग दिस व्हिच आई अंडरस्टैंड संस्कृत में वो मजा कहां जो मेंटी में है बट इट्स ओके सी मेरा भी संस्कृत अच्छा नहीं था सही बताऊं तो ऑलराइट लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड गाइस कम ऑन कम ऑन आई अच्छा 194 192 यस वेरी गुड एवरीवन ठीक है आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर 10 मोर सेकंड्स मीनवाइल आर यू रेडी इफ यू आर एक्साइटेड इफ यू आर रेडी फ्लड द इमोजीज इन द चैट बस फ्लड कर दो I am waiting for 200 basically. If I tell you the truth, हो जाएगा। तुम तुम करो flood, show the excitement, and then we'll start. Everybody, come on. Yes. Very good. दो हो दो सौ एक हो गए। दो सौ तीन करते हैं चालू, ठीक है? All right. Three, 
two, one. First question on your screen is now. Or pehla question hai physics ka. Physics ka. Which metal is used to coat electric poles that prevents the steel from rusting? Dhyan se. Kiss metal se coating ki jati hai electric poles pe so that steel does not rust. You have four options. Zinc, silver, sodium, aluminium. Easy question hai. Dikh raha hai yes. options. I think up, options of course we'll be able to see on the side. And by the way, menti pe you are playing so it shouldn't be a problem. Haan. But we'll still move for those of you who are here with us on YouTube. Yes. Easy peasy. Hai. Easy peasy. Yeah, this is easy. Hai. And by the way, yes, to Anna, good question, good answer. <laughs> Haan, you are right. Wow, 180. 180 people got this correct. Kya baat hai. Very good. But as you know, motion is not going to be a good So, zinc is, you are right. It's called what? Electroplating, we use it, right? And it's chemical effect of electric current, right? Na? Okay, yes, all right, very good, Chale aage. easy, nice, so zinc se plating ki thi hai to prevent the corrosion and that's why we coat things with zinc because it does not react, right, okay, hai na? question number two on your screen, it's a bio question now, or chat mein hurosa mat karo, Aryan, you are right, <laughs> misleading chat, acha. Animals exhibiting uh, the external fertilization produce numerous gametes justify with the reason from the ones given below. So what is the reason that during the external fertilization usually the number of gametes produced by the organisms or the animals are usually very higher. Now the animals are small and want to produce more offspring. The food is available plenty in the water to ensure the better chances of fertilization or Water promotes the production of numerous gametes. It's a very easy question. I hope that you'll be able to find this correct answer. Ooh. Very okay. good. 223 votes. Very good, everyone. So, 123 of you are absolutely correct with the correct answer. So, the animals produce a huge amount of the gametes in uh, the external fertilization because the fertilization will be happening outside the body. And they want to ensure that the offspring will survive. Okay. Many of you, I can see that 60 of you actually have voted for the first option which is not correct. Though it looks absolutely correct in a way that the animals are small and they produce more number of offspring. They want to assure that definitely the production and the continuity of the species is there. But most important thing to ensure the survival of the species. So that is a reason. Those of you who got confused with the other options, please make sure you to note down this now. Achoo. People are saying this question is every time is there. <laughs> Six Could be. Maybe as a host, I team ka ekdam favorite question. Ban gaya hai. Uh, yes. And to be in reality, <laughs> we remember the answer. <laughs> but still, if that's important a, question. Hai. No, but still, even if you say if you remember the. Uh, yeah, 60 yeah, 60 hai. 28. Pura aana chahiye tha na. Matlab, of course, hardly we have few topics. So, some external fertilization. The answer is remember karne bhi yeh dikkat hota hai. Dukha de sakta hai kabhi bhi. Right? Haan, it, it can ditch you anytime. <laughs> Right, so everybody, this was question number two. 123 people got this right. Uh, very good. Question number three. It's a physics question again. On your screen is now. Leaderboard hai after every... Ten, five question, I guess. Five or ten questions. I question. think five or six question. Hai. Haan, I think. Surprise hai tumhare liye, tumhare liye. Haan, I think we know, but we act. Haan. <laughs> Haan, shakal dekho. Which of the following solution will not make the bulb glow? Jaldi batao. Konsa solution will not make the bulb glow? Sugar, vinegar, sulfuric acid, copper sulfate. Come on. Which of the following solutions will not make the bulb copper. glow? Okay. Bye. I'm, I'm thinking it's a very easy question. You can only make a mistake if you really want to make a mistake or you are in a hurry. But you want to be repeated. Are they repeated? Easy. Home? See. But I think Ab, all of you... Now it's been repeated, it's been repeated. It's been repeated. One more thing. You are saying repeated. Can you tell me where have you seen this question? <laughs> Again, <laughs> this is a very valid question. Where have you seen this? I don't remember what the diagram was doing. Sugar solution, 186 people. In book, 
इन वन शॉट गूगल गूगल फॉर्म एक बात बताओ डू यू रिमेंबर वी हैव डन क्रैश कोर्स फॉर यू वी हैव गिवन यू क्वेश्चन इन दैट एग्जाम प्रेप टेस्ट तुमको पता है क्या हो रहा है आज This is not just a mentee; it is also the analysis of those questions. Most of the questions which we have picked today, these are those questions जहाँ तुम लोगों ने की थी गलतियाँ. Understood? So today's questions are everything is taken from that exam prep test only. जितने बच्चों ने छोड़ दिया था गलतियाँ हो गई थीं तो सारे questions वहीं से आए हैं. Today we are doing analysis of those things, right? ठीक है? So इसीलिए तुमको देखे-देखे लग रहे होंगे question ये. वही intent था. <laughs> All right, sugar solution, vinegar will give you H plus ions. Sulfuric acid, H plus ions. Copper sulfate will give you ions. You need ions for conduction of electricity. Sugar solution, क्या है? Sir, जी organic solution है, है ना? इसके अंदर क्या है? Sugar dissolve होता है. It does not dissociate. It dissolves, right? So it won't give you ions. So that's why C six H twelve O six. नहीं मिलेगा तुमको ion. नहीं होगी electricity conduct. ठीक है? So answer is sugar solution. आगे चलें. Clear now? ठीक है? अब ये नहीं बोला देखे देखे हैं सारे क्वेश्चन देखे हुए होने चाहिए इफ यू हैव सॉल्व द एग्जाम प्रेप टेस्ट ठीक है ये कंडीशन है भाई क्वेश्चन फोर ऑन योर स्क्रीन वी हैव क्वेश्चन फोर अच्छा ऑल आर एब्सेंट इन दी प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल एक्सेप्ट विच ऑर्गेनल माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया गोल्जी पैरेटर्स न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन राइबोसोम वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन सेल चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस ए नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स एंड वी हैव Very, that's a very simple, very basic chapter. So I want all of you to vote for this. Acha, so late this video. So jada sorry, yar. Your class ten seniors are in in a mess right now. So you know, unka dhyan thoda jada rakha ja raha hai. Koi baat nahi. But we are here, no. So jada, I just replied, you know. Are? Ho. Now, a moment of silence. <laughs> डिलीटेड चैप्टर कहाँ पे? इट वाज अरे आई टोल्ड यू एवरीथिंग वाज इन एग्जाम प्रेप टेस्ट। सो आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ यू डिन फोकस्ड ऑन द वर्ड प्रोकैरियोट्स। अच्छा एक तो पहले ये बता दो कौन कौन ये कौन कौन से जान मुझ के गलत कर रहा है? उस दिन इवन आई थिंक मी एंड अर्श मैम हैव had a session and they were writing. Ma'am, we are doing something wrong with Janmuch because we want to make sure math is winning. Everyone, come on. Please don't do like that, right? Please make sure you are voting for the correct answer. So the important thing over here is the prokaryotic cells. We know that prokaryotic cells are very primitive cells, right? They do had a, right, a cell wall, right? They have the genetic material which is not present in the nuclear memory. So one thing I think that majority of you got got it completely incorrect was first of all the nuclear membrane they don't have the nuclear membrane right the genetic material is present outside the genetic uh, the nuclear membrane it is called as nucleoid they do have the ribosomes and these ribosomes help in the protein synthesis yes and mitochondria we know that is present in the eukaryotic cells it, it is a in the powerhouse of the cell right it provides the energy currency Okay, I can see many of you saying that we have uh, it's deleted, but we did the chapter here on our channel. Yeah, but your class statement deleted means it's not taken by your school. Yeah. It doesn't mean every school has deleted this, yes. right? So it was there in the syllabus. That's why we have covered. And I think ये बच्चे ना confused हो गए. All are absent hmm. except. So they thought absent. Oh, ये तो है. हाँ. So I hope that now you got the answer. है ना और चैट भरोसा मत करो भाई हाँ सुबह बच्चा इंग्लिश हिंदी नथिंग विल बी मिस्ड इफ यू फोकस ऑन द कंटेंट ओके यस ओके एवरीवन चलिए विद अ हेवी हार्ट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बच्चों इजी इजी करते करते गलती मत कर देना आई एम टेलिंग यू इट हैपेंस वी ऑलवेज थिंक आई रेस दीज आर रिपीट Every question demands respect. Okay? Listen to the answer. Question number 5 on your screen is now. We will do it with SST also, don't worry. Confusion is taken. This is our work. Which of the following sound waves represents the loudest and high pitched sound? Exam prep question is. I am announcing it right now. You have 4 images in front of you. You have to choose which of the following represents the loudest and high pitched sound. A, B, C, D. हाँ जी ए बी सी डी
क्लास सेवन आल्सो विल डू बच्चा डोंट वरी डोंट वरी सी इफ इट इज डन फॉर वन क्लास विल हैपन फॉर ऑल द क्लासेस नो डोंट वरी नो पार्शियलिटी ऑन दिस चैनल एवरीवन इज इक्वल सब जनता है एंड बाय द वे पीपल हु आर जॉइनिंग लेट यू हैव टू थिंग्स जॉइन मेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कोड इज गिवन टू यू 19194396 सेकंड थिंग लाइक द वीडियो अब बी बाहर जाके हमको मुनि छुपाना पड़ना चाहिए ठीक है कि सर इतने लोग आए थे कोई लाइक करके नहीं किया क्या चल रहा है ये ठीक है यस एवरीबॉडी ऑप्शन सी वॉज द वन विच was uh, which was looking something like uh, this sir ha uh, something like this so it was louder also it was close to each other means high frequency and that's why this was the correct answer hai na ji oh yes all right chalo acha we had this slide also i forgot All right, not a problem. So that's why option C was the correct answer because A, B, C, and D. You can see amplitude in the option C is highest and it is closest to each other. Means frequency is also more than others, and that is why option C was the correct answer. Let's move forward then. Yeah. Here we have question number six, everyone from bio. And after this, video board will come. Yeah. Janta ko ek aur session mangta. Bilkul. We'll have. Here we have substance used to produce the immunity against diseases in the living body is called as what? Immune, vaccine, antibodies, antigen. Substance used to produce immunity against diseases in the living body is called as what? ध्यान से करना जरा। हाँ मतलब there are two options that might yeah. I'm sure you'll get confused you might, with. You might get confused so take time but make it correct. Immune, vaccine, antibodies or antigens. Because I'm also confused in two options. <laughs> See the question. If you read the question, you will have the hint, right? Substances that are used to produce the immunity. Substances that we are actually using to make the immunity against. But we don't call them directly as that, right? I think many of you are going on a wrong, wrong answer. But let's wait. Pitch means shrillness. Who? Pitch. Yes, I was thinking that majority of you might vote for antibodies, but the question is saying that. Substance used to produce anti, uh, sorry, immunity against the diseases in the living body is called as vaccine. Now I know that many of you think that antibodies definitely is there, but antibodies are produced by our body. We are not taking from outside, right? Mm. We are not using it. It is already there inside the body, and once we have a microorganism, definitely it is produced. Antigen, of course, it's a foreign substance. Immune. That should never be the option. I don't know. Why do you vote for it? Because it's a question of immunity. Given so, here, so option A, Valo. I think it's a misclick. The correct answer is a vaccine. So we take the vaccine. In the vaccine, what we have, we have the weakened or we have the dead microorganism. That when it goes inside our body, it starts the immune reaction. Right? Memory cells are formed and that stays in the brain. So next time when we have the microorganism attacking the body. We have the cells ready to fight them. Clear, everyone. Everyone, yes. just quickly give a thumbs up. Those of you who got confused with antibodies, I hope that now you are clear. That Kiran, I was telling you to read the question carefully. See, question clearly says that substance used to produce immunity against diseases in the living body. That is the vaccine. That is vaccine. Me, you give almost weakened Haan. antigens, and that's how you produce antibodies, Haan. right? इम्यूनिटी मतलब एंटीबॉडीज कौन दिया वैक्सीन यस आई ऑल्सो एक्चुअली इन माई माइंड आई थॉट एंटीबॉडीज इट्स ओके आई थॉट कि हाँ थोड़ा ध्यान से करना ऑल राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज डन मीन्स इज टाइम फॉर द फर्स्ट लीडर बोर्ड ऑफ टूडे सेशन एंड इट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अच्छा ठीक है सात के बाद चलो लेट सी आफ्टर एट आई गेस मे बी आफ्टर एट हाँ एट आफ्टर एट Difference between antibody and vaccine. हाँ, so again, Deepika, antibodies basically are produced in our body naturally. 
when something enters our body, for example, if a foreign substance or a, a microorganism is entering your body, our body will produce the immune defense again against that and it will be producing the antibodies. Now, in a case of vaccine, a vaccine is prepared by humans. It's a man-made thing, right? And inside the vaccine, what we do? We actually add the dead or weak microorganism. So when we inject it in our body, what happens? There is a response and of course then there's a defense mechanism is happening. We have the cells who can fight these microorganisms. Are we clear? Next time say agar if these living cells will enter into the human body, now these memory cells will be able to fight them back. That's the main difference. Vaccine is man-made. Antibodies naturally body may produce hote hain. Antibodies or anti uh, antibiotics may difference hai. Please make sure. Matlab, I'm sure you're getting con confused with antibiotics, jo hum lete hain, right? So I'm sure you're getting confused with that, but that's not the case. Sarita, I've explained this. It's antibody, not antibodies. What is meant by antigen? Antigen is nothing but the foreign substance. Microorganisms, ko we can call it as the antigen. Huh. Yes. Right. Free download gamer, you can leave the class. <laughs> If Chalo. you feel that the session is not helping you. All right, bachon. Let's move forward. Question number seven. After a slight surprise, I got leaderboard. I think after eight. Let's see. Thoda <laughs> excitement banate hain. Question number seven on your screen, which of the following are contact forces? Very easy question hai yaar Dekho, I accept. Compared to bio, the physics questions are easy. Okay. Aisa lag raha hai? Nahi, mujhe se nahi lag raha. Meri ko lag raha hai aisa. Mujhe bhi lag raha hai. Yaar, yaar, mere se nahi ho raha bio. Ho sakta hai. Ye ho sakta hai. <laughs> Which of the following are contact forces? First option, both frictional and gravitational. Second one, both gravitational and magnetic. Third one, both frictional and muscular. Last one, both gravitational and muscular. Are easy hai yaar. Just uh, don't be in a hurry and solve this question. And by the way, in exam prep test, I don't know why, but this question pe na, a lot of people gave wrong, wrong answer. I don't know why. Ayush, bilkul bachcha. Must take them. Very good. Very good. Both frictional and muscular, by gravitational, magnetic, electrostatic, they can be applied without even touching. So they are non-contact forces. Friction or muscular force, hai na? Dusre ko dhakka dene ke liye dhakka dena padega na? Bhai test to karna hi padega. Bina touch kare kaise dudoge? X men thodi ho. So that's why both frictional and muscular forces are contact forces. Very easy question. Let's move to the next question, which is question number eight. And after this, let's see if we get the leaderboard or not. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so here we have a question. The place meant for, for the conservation of biodiversity in its natural habitat are natural, focus on the word natural, zoological park, botanical gardens, right, sorry, zoological, zoological gardens, botanical gardens, wildlife sanctuary, and national park. Which, are, which of these, right, among the these, we have to find the two pairs which are the natural way of conservation, right? Easy peasy question, everyone. I hope that majority of you answer this question. Yes. Mera sahi hai bhai. It's okay, it's okay. Six seconds, but not sure. I was also not sure. I also confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Done, but took some time. Very good. Not a problem. Yeah, that is important. Take your time and then vote for the correct answer. Very good, everyone. 210. Very good. Good everyone. So, uh, 210 of you have voted for the correct answer. For the conservation of biodiversity, that includes all the living organisms, be it the plants, right, and of course the animals. So, the, for, for their conservation, there are two measures that we had. We have the formation of the wildlife century and national park. Zoological gardens and the botanical gardens are man-made. So, they are not the natural habitat. Very good. Bhadiya hai. <laughs> oh, we broke the record, huh? That's true, by the way. So please make, uh, subjective we, questions, uh, that too we have uh, promised, it will come, don't worry bacha. Yes, Ooh. we have the subjective questions. Alright, so very good, very good kids. And what do we have? The leaderboard. So we have the leaderboard everyone. Agash, physics, you were the fastest and you were on top. Very good, Sex, second pay, we have Adiva. Are, wow. Third way we have RS Sultan, Team Physics. Fourth way we have Ankita Saini, a troop by Dwight. Then we have Supriya on fifth, Garved on sixth, Diksha on seventh, Arnam on eighth, 
Valanka, Fernandez on 9th and Shaurya, you are on 10th. But you know what? It came after 8th question. Means two more leaderboards will come. Ha. Right? Let's move forward now. Koi baat nahi. Jo ho gaya, so ho gaya. Whatever happened, happened. Let's move forward. Let's see. We have 16 more questions. Question number 9 on your screen is now. Sam is famous and he is standing in front of a plane mirror. The distance between Sam and his image is 10 meters. How far is he standing from the mirror? Are re, bahut easy question hai. <laughs> Are wa. Talukdar, mere dost. All the best and very good, yeah. Your English exam is done. Microorganism ka, yes we will have. Okay Deepika, noted your point. It came in Google form. And by the way, people who joined late, all these questions are from exam pep test. And these are those questions in which answers were not satisfactory. A lot of people got this question wrong. That's why we have chosen this question for this menti. Right? Take care. Analysis chal raha tumhara exam prep test ka. Alright? All these questions samaj lo. Bhoat bachcho ne galat kiye de. And don't worry, topper batayeng yaar. Time is up and 94 people got this correct. Lekin ek baal batao. Did you misunderstood the question? My question is saying, Sam is standing in front of a plane mirror. Ye raha plane mirror. Take care. And Yeh raha Sam Thikai? Sam raha badiya ikdam The distance between Sam and his image Bhai, plane mirror has a property Object distance is equal to image distance Object height is equal to image height Sam is standing let's say at some distance His image will also be at x distance inside it, no? Hai na? Sam ki image bhi to andar x distance yogi Distance between Sam and his image is 10 Matlab x plus x equals 10 x bole to 5 okay? 5 meters is the distance of Sam from the mirror how far is he standing from the mirror 5 and that's why the correct answer is 5 easy hai na? easy question tha. Koi baat nahi. you could have done it without even lifting your pen also but it's okay at least you got it now Koi baat nahi, yaar. Galti hona hai. Tabhi to it's okay let's move forward question number 10 on your screen why very good Ajiba. Chalo. here we have everyone question number 10. In agriculture, dash are used to increase soil fertility by fixing nitrogen. Protozoa, virus, bacteria, fungi, all of you should give this correct answer. But this is so. It's a very easy question. I don't know the bacteria. Yes. Now, Joe. I don't know the name of Yes, come on. Everyone, जो गलत करेगा वो तो ultra pro legend है एकदम। हाँ, जलेबी फावड़ा नहीं, मैंने इसके में डाल दिया तुम्हारा घी शक्कर में। ठीक है, तुम तुमको जो करना है करो। तुमको थोड़ा बाद में रिलाइज़ होगा, थोड़ा slow जाता है ना इसलिए। तब तक तो हो चुकी होगी voting। Very good everyone. 185 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer is bacteria. Absolutely correct. Sir ने बोल ही दिया था कि मुझे नाम भी पता है � so viruses को जो vote कर रहे हैं, I want really your attention over here. बच्चे viruses are non-living organism. वो living सिर्फ living organisms के अंदर जाने के बाद में होते हैं। Once they enter into the host body, then only they are living. So virus cannot be the answer. Protozoa नहीं and fungi also not. Okay? The correct answer over here is bacteria. Very good. Rhizobium, right? It actually enters. It is actually present in the root nodules of the leguminous plant like pea, soya bean. Very good, very good. Badiya hai. Yes, spoiler alert. Koi baat nahi. Vaisi bhi me and Ashwarya ma'am both are famous. Ashwarya ma'am is laughing. Bilkul, bilkul. We are both called Likosaurus. I'm sure ma'am will be... Will be super proud of you sir. Yes, ma'am will be proud of me today. Alright, but by the way, easy question it was. And even if I wouldn't give you a hint, you would do it. Yes. कम से कम सच तो बोल दो कर लेते ना भाई <laughs> चलो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज नाउ आ जाओ बच्चों जो लेट कर रहा है ज्वाइन करते चलो भाई 19194396 ज्वाइन मेंटी मजा वहीं आएगा स्टेटमेंट 1 एसर्शन रीजन टाइप का क्वेश्चन है ये नहीं सुन लो जरा स्टेटमेंट 1 टू स्टेटमेंट्स हैं ऑप्शंस भी हैं स्टेटमेंट 1 सेज नाइट बर्ड्स हैव मोर कोन्स देन रॉड्स इन देयर आईज अब कोई ये नहीं पूछेगा सर ये क्या बात चल रही है कौन रॉड क्या बोल रहे हो यू नो दैट ठीक है स्टेटमेंट टू रॉड सेल्स आर सेंसिटिव टू डिम लाइट ऑप्शंस आर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज स्टेटमेंट वन इज ट्रू स्टेटमेंट टू इज फॉल्स सेकंड ऑप्शन इज स्टेटमेंट वन इज फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट टू इज ट्रू थर्ड ऑप्शन इज दोनों सही है फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज दोनों गलत है ठीक है यस कम ऑन 
अरे रैप नहीं कर रहे थे पढ़ रहे थे कुछ यस और चैट हाँ मिसक्लिक इज फाइन बच्चा इट्स ओके इट्स पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ आज तुम्हारा हुआ है कल किसी और का होगा तो दैट्स फाइन हाँ नेवर ट्रस्ट चैट दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट वन इज फॉल्स बट वेरी गुड भाई एक बात बताओ नाइट बर्ड्स हैं रात में वी डोंट हैव ब्राइट लाइट्स राइट विच मीन्स दे शुड हैव सेंसिटिव रॉड सेल्स बिकॉज रॉड सेल्स आर सेंसिटिव टू लाइट कॉन्स आर यूज टू सी कलर एकदम बढ़िया बढ़िया है ना टनाटन सो दैट्स वाई Rod cells are sensitive to dim light. That's true, but first one is wrong. Night birds have more rods than cones. Okay, so that's the problem. Statement one is false. Statement two is true. And I think now you understand this, है ना? वर्षा इट्स ओके बच्चा कोई बात नहीं. हाँ, they have rods. बहुत बढ़िया. चलो, question number twelve on your screen is now. All questions are repeated. All questions are from exam prep test. All these questions are those where you guys made a mistake. Here we have which of the following is not a correct statement for sowing seeds. Read the statement correctly. The question is asking you not a correct statement. Seeds seeds should be sown at a right interval. Seed should should be sown at a right depth. Seeds ये तो tongue twister हो रखा है. Seeds should be sown in dry soil. And the last option, seeds should not be sown in the highly wet soil. Which of these is not the correct way of sowing the seeds? Ooh, इसको speed से पढ़े तो seed should not be sown at right interval. She should not be sown. Should be should be sown at right depth. She should be sown at right soil. She should not be sown. She she she. <laughs> she she. Come to Mister A question. Very, very good, good everyone very good chaliye 139 of you have voted for the correct answer so definitely if we have to sow the seed we need the right interval right yes they should be added into the soil during the right interval when of course they can easily germinate right depth is really important because if there is not right depth right what will happen the birds can easily come and eat them and they might not able to grow properly when the growth will start then definitely we add them into a highly wet soil they will not be able to germinate so this is the incorrect option not a correct way very good so we have the yeah, these all are correct yes good what everyone. do i mean by sensitive sensitive means rod cells are responsible for light hai na dim light may if you take some time if i close the lights of this room you will take some time but you will start seeing what is in the room after some time means the rod cells getting activated so rod cells are responsible for seeing in dim light cones are responsible for seeing colors that's what i meant okay han ji thank you shilpa for the code nice krishna hindu very good <laughs> math and physics lovers very good ha ek i think many of you are asking ki d kyun nahi read the statement right seeds should not be sown in highly wet soil ये तो सही बात है हाँ मतलब नहीं होना चाहिए ना मतलब हम हमें नहीं करना तो दिस इज करेक्ट इसमें इन दी ऑप्शन दे हैव यूज द वर्ड नॉट इफ द वर्ड नॉट इज नॉट देयर देन ऑफ कोर्स वी कुड हैव दिस वुड बी द आंसर बट द वर्ड नॉट इज देयर ओके गुड सो सी ऑफ कोर्स दीज क्वेश्चन आर देयर टू ट्रिक यू अराउंड एंड दिस वॉज अगेन हाँ बच्चो ही एक आपके एग्जाम प्रेप टेस्ट में ही था हर क्वेश्चन वहीं से है वी आर एनालाइजिंग इट हर क्वेश्चन इज taken where lot of people got it wrong theek hai wahi question uthaye gaye hain question number 13 on your screen is now machines use ball bearings to reduce friction between their moving parts ball bearings replace four options hain rolling friction with static friction static friction with rolling friction rolling friction with sliding friction sliding friction with rolling friction theek hai aur <laughs> aur dhyan se karna zara I'm getting a feeling you might do it wrong. Yes, exam prep question. I got lot of wrong answers for this question. That's why I'm bringing it again. Salty question. Sir, sir, hint. Hint will not be given. When your luck is good, you might get a hint. Varna, ऐसे ऐसे हम लीक करते नहीं हैं. ठीक है. Let's see. Oh, I told you. I told you you might make a mistake. Ball bearings replace what? एक बात बताओ यार. We have three types of friction. One is static. Static बोले तो the thing which cannot move. If I start pushing this table, 
this table is not moving. Why? Because there is friction. Okay? That is static friction. Static friction is flexible. I have taught this to you. Second is sliding. The moment a body starts moving over the other body. That is sliding friction. Ball bearings may. What do you have? Small, small balls. If those balls were not there, what would you have? Ek disc under hoga. Ek disc bar hoga. Hai na? Dono ek dosar ke upar aise aise ghoomenge. It will be sliding friction. Not static friction. Ghoomenge to. Hai na? There will be sliding friction. Correct? So that's why. It will convert sliding friction into rolling friction. Tino me subse maximum kon hota hai? Static friction. Hai na? Uski maximum value kya hoti hai? Limiting friction. Phir kya aata hai? Sliding friction. Least kya hota hai? Rolling friction. And rolling friction to example I have given to you. Tumhari is na trolley bags hai. All those have those roller hai na? In the, in the bottom. Correct? Rollers hai. Without rollers what would you have done? Ya to tum unko kandhe pe uthate. Ya tum ghista ke le jate. Ghista ke le jate to phat jata. Kandhe pe le jate to tum dab jate. So that's why we have rollers. Right? To make your life easy. Okay, sliding friction with rolling friction is the correct answer. Let's move forward now. Ha, so ma'am ma is here only. Yes, I can see that a lot of kids are asking ma'am, rice, ki jo paddy, jo paddy seeds are in the wet soil. Mein dalte hai. But of course, that's a very, very, very one exception that we have over here. Usually when we talk about the sowing of the seeds, right, we always talk about the proper interval. Pe hota hai. There's a proper method that we follow, right? That is important. Very good. Chali. All question right. 14, everyone. Kadawa Kadawa question. Kadawa question. <laughs> question 14 on your screen is now. Come on. Okay, which of the following system of irrigation is preferred for the uneven land? For the uneven land, which of these system for irrigation is used? So we have chain pull pump, sorry, chain pump irrigation system, dip drip irrigation system, river irrigation system, or the sprinkle irrigation system. Sprinkler irrigation system. Mm. We have four options. River irrigation system, drip irrigation system or chain pump irrigation system. So we know that irrigation is nothing but providing the water right to the plants so that they can grow properly. And we are talking about the uneven surface spray. So an uneven surface we know that we will be using, the farmer will be using the sprinkler irrigation system. Now in the sprinkler irrigation system is the artificial rain. It rotate like this. I'm sure you would have seen in the lawns, right? It keeps on rotating like this. It is there uh, a little bit at a height from the ground surface and it provides the water to the uneven land. Yes. Drip irrigation, those of you have voted for, uh, 85 of you have voted for drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is usually used for the land where there is a shortage of the water. Right? So in drip irrigation, what will happen? We will have the connection from one particular place where we have the water. And every plant, right, will get the water continuously but drop by drop. Because they understand that there is less amount of the water, so they want to use it properly. Clear, everyone? 85 of you, those of you got confused with drip irrigation, please make sure you to note this thing. Clear as upko? Yes, nice. Aman is saying watery question. <laughs> what? <laughs> Very good. All Chali. right. Badiya. Chalo. Bacho, come on. Question number 15. Second. Aaj aega leaderboard aega. 16 ke baad. 16 ke baad leaderboard aega. Question 15 on your screen is now. A ball is moving down in different mediums. Asundo zara. YouTube pe image is small. On Menti it is fine. Haan. A ball is moving down in different mediums with different speeds as shown. In which case does the ball experience the maximum drag? A, B, C or D. Mai bas padh deta hon people who are not hmm. there on Menti. Option A ke andar ball ki speed hai 2 meter per second or substance hai glycerine. B ke andar 4 meter per second item hai glycerine. C ke andar 4 meter per second, saman hai water and D ke andar ball speed is 2 meter per second and the liquid is water. Yes. Which chapter? Kya baat kar lo? Drag, drag ki baat chal rahi hai. Good. Still very good, bhai. Option B is the right answer. Why? Because... Haan, because, yes, it was, drag depends on what? It depends on, first of all, speed of the object, and second is density, and third is shape. Now, ball shape was same. 
स्पीड कहां ज्यादा था सर फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड वॉज द मैक्सिम स्पीड अब सुनो जरा ग्लिसरीन एंड वॉटर वॉट डू थिंक ग्लिसरीन ऑन वॉटर में हुज डेंसिटी इज हायर ग्लिसरीन डेंसिटी इज हायर इट मीन ड्रैग फोर्स विल बी मोर वेन बॉल विद फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड विल फॉल इन ग्लिसरीन इट विल एक्सपीरियंस मोर ड्रैग ठीक है ज्यादा स्पीड ऑब्जेक्ट की ज्यादा डेंसिटी उस मीडियम की या फिर लिक्विड की थर्ड इज शेप ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ठीक है शेप यहां पर सेम थी तो उसको हटा दो डिपेंड करा था दो चीजों पर स्पीड एंड डेंसिटी बस दैट वॉज द होल प्ले इन दिस ठीक है तुक्का गॉट करेक्ट क्या बात कर रहे हो <laughs> अरे तुम आगे चले यार अगली स्क्रीन क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट कम ऑन डे आफ्टर आई हैव साइंस एग्जाम ऑल द बेस्ट यस ऑल द बेस्ट ओके चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 एवरीवन आफ्टर दिस विल हैव द सेकंड लीडर बोर्ड देखते हैं क्या क्वेश्चन है एंड हियर वी हैव द लीडर बोर्ड मैच आइटम्स इन कॉलम ए विद दोस इन कॉलम बी सो इन कॉलम ए वी हैव क्रॉप्स लाइक हरिफ क्रॉप रबी क्रॉप chemical fertilizers and organic manure and in column b we have food for cattle urea and super phosphate annual excreta cow dung and the uh, plant waste wheat gram and pea and paddy and maize so if you know what is kharif crop and rabi crop you have the answer with you iska ye hai ye wala na iska ye hai तो इधर ये होगा ये वाला यस नहीं 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 फिर ये होगा ये 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 है हां यू गेस ऑल द टाइम यस यस हिंट फोकस ऑन थ्री नंबर गुड 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 वेरी गुड एवरीवन सो आई थिंक वी हैव द टेबल फॉर आल्सो वी हियर राइट क्रॉप क्वेश्चन हां सो वी हैव खरीफ क्रॉप अब खरीफ क्रॉप तो वो है दैट नीड मोर अमाउंट ऑफ द वाटर सो वी हैव द राइस एंड द मेज we have rabi crop which need less amount of the water right and winter season wale hain uh, we have wheat gram and pea chemical fertilizers urea and of course organic manure mein we have the animal excreta cow dung and plant waste easy peasy question everyone aur main smiley bana dete hu i think it was all about kharif and rabi dekho chemical Haan. and organic was quite simple kharif aur rabi ke andar hi confusion tha ha matlab i think if you would have guessed the organic wala organic manure na you would have had the answer और केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स आल्सो, बिकॉज़ यूरिया एंड सुपर फॉस्फेट वेरी क्लियर कट आंसर कि ये फर्टिलाइजर्स हैं सो वेरी गुड एवरीवन नाउ विल बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट द लीडर बोर्ड यस लीडर लीडर बोर्ड लेट्स सी द सेकंड लीडर बोर्ड ऑफ टुडे सेशन एंड व्हाट डू वी हैव कार्तिक की टक्कर चल रही है फ्यू न्यू एंट्रीज ओहो वेरी गुड कृष्णा हर्षम रन इज हियर कृष्णा हिंदू की एंट्री हो गई है हर्षम की एंट्री हो गई है आकाश यू आर ऑन टॉप वेरी गुड सेकंड पे वी हैव अडिवा third pay we have new entry harsimran from physics team very good very good and you were the fastest fourth pay we have ankita saini fifth pay we have aris sultan sixth pay aditya rai and seventh pay we have new entry of krishnendu very good shelly you are also new, new. then we have avni very good very good himanshi you are on 10 we have eight more questions hai na koi baat nahi mujhe nahi aa raha are bachcha suno zara dekho it's all about learning pehle to hai na ये तो खेल चलता रहेगा फिजिक्स वर्सेस बायो हम थोड़ी खेलते हैं तुम क्या लगता है कुश्ती करते हैं फिजिक्स वर्सेस बायो की हम तो मस्ती में रहते हैं सो इट्स ऑल फॉर यू सो दैट यू हैव फन एंड यू लर्न सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग एवरी क्वेश्चन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यू गाइज मेड मिस्टेक्स इन दीज क्वेश्चन इन एग्जाम प्रैक्टिस दैट्स वाई दीज क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अगैन ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज नाउ क्वेश्चन सेवनटीन फाइनल एट क्वेश्चन और रैपिड फायर करवेंटीन ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज Now and people who join late like to कर दो जरा come on everybody press the like button and join Menti. Phases of the moon occur because dash what is dash? We have four options. We can see only that part of the moon which reflects light towards us. This was first option. Second is our distance from the moon keeps changing. Third option shadow of the earth covers some part of the moon's surface. And fourth option says thickness of the moon's atmosphere is not constant. Yes. Easy है ना? इजी है गलती मत करना बस टाइम ले लो पढ़ने में ऑप्शन बट गलती नहीं चाहिए एनसीआरटी क्वेश्चन हाँ तो क्या हो गया थैंक यू दिशा थैंक यू एनसीआरटी बढ़िया है ना एनसीआरटी क्वेश्चन सब तो दैट शोज दैट इज कीप अ ट्रैक हाँ इफ यू यू शुड आल्सो बी रीडिंग दी एनसीआरटी गुड वेरी गुड Yes. मुझे लग रहा था कि ना इस पे लोग कंफ्यूज हो सकते हैं सो शेडो ऑफ द अर्थ कवर्स सम पार्ट ऑफ द मून सरफेस ऐसा होता नहीं है दैट लूनर एक्लिप्स थिंग इज डिफरेंट ऑल टूगेदर है ना सो 
it's not the earth's shadow covering the uh, moon's part it's about the phases of the moon moon kya ghoomta rehta hai jitna part reflect karega and whatever is coming to you you will see that and that's why it keeps changing theek hai and we have discussed it waxing waning we have done all these things right bahut badhiya option a was the correct answer and baaki dono option faltu the let's move forward <laughs> Question number 18 on your screen is now. Bilkul Imad, we remember you. You are right. Very good. Okay. But are uh, easy. Which of the following disease Arre is caused by fungus? Cholera, common cold, ringworm, dengue. Matlab. Are बहुत easy है. All of you, please vote for the correct answer. Which of these diseases caused by a fungus? Moon lighting question. <laughs> ये कौन सा question है? Fungus ही question. हाँ, यही होगा. फंगस इन हिंदी कॉल्ड कुकर मुत्ता ना नहीं मतलब फंगस तो एक बेसिकली किंगडम का नाम है इसके अंदर हां पर मशरूम को वही बोलते हैं मशरूम को वही बोलते हैं हां हिंदी में वही बोलते हैं नॉट इग्नोरिंग यू नॉट एट ऑल वेरी गुड एवरीवन 165 ऑफ यू हैव वोटेड फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज रिंगवर्म सो रिंगवर्म इज अ डिजीज वेयर ऑफ कॉज वी हैव द इचिंग राइट एंड इट इज इट इज कॉज्ड बाय द फंगस डेफिनेटली देयर इज द मॉइस्चर राइट और वहां से is a growth of this particular fungus wo oh, i'm sure you would have seen the ads also daat khat kuch kuch wala oi oi yaar mere dimag mein chal raha tha gana bahut der se ye ring bomb ka wohi aata hai yes everyone all right you won't realize because these are our times thing <laughs> old old people jokes but ha matlab yes suhana so everyone i hope that you know this is dengue dengue kaise hota hai matlab yahan pe to we have the vectors jahan pe bhi mosquitoes aa rahe hain yahan pe we have the vectors right Very good. All And right. cholera or common cold to very direct. Good, good. This ad ki line thi. Ye to majboor hai. Aap nahi. Aap nahi. Chalo, aage chalte hain. Question number nineteen on your screen. Maja aa raha hai. Question sare mast hai. Ha, aa jao. Aisha, shout out nahi bacha. Uche question puchho. Aa jao, come on. When two bodies are rubbed against each other, they acquire what? Equal and like charges. Equal and unlike charges, unequal and like charges, unequal and unlike charges. बस बस पांच क्वेश्चन और सबर करो. Chat पे भरोसा ना करो. हाँ. कहाँ चलना है? चलो. Yes. Chat. See, I can't take guarantee of chat. है ना? ठीक है. Use your own brain. Click the right answer. Then have fun in the chat. Charger question. <laughs> So wash your hand because it touched fungus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, times up, and the correct answer is equal and unlike charges. Yeah, triboelectric series. I have taught this to you, है ना? Remember, I gave a short trick to you. किसी को याद है तो लिख दो जरा फटाफट, ठीक है? I gave a short trick to you to remember the mini version of triboelectric series, ठीक है? है ना? Last था उसमें paper था, you remember? Yes, ठीक है? So. When you rub two things, one will gain, at, let's say, positive charge. Equal negative charge will come on the other one. ठीक है, है ना? Yes. हाँ, glass is full of some paper plastic. Very good, Arsimran यार. Nice. चलो, आगे चलते हैं. Question number twenty. On your screen. सर, सर, सर वाला question. अच्छा प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली यू हैव टू अरेंज द फॉलोइंग प्रैक्टिसेस इन द करेक्ट ऑर्डर एज दे अपीयर फॉर द शुगर केन प्रोडक्शन सो इफ यू नो वन एंड टू आई एम श्योर यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड द आंसर व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स वी हैव इन द एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिसेस सो सेंडिंग क्रॉप्स टू शुगर फैक्ट्री इरिगेशन हार्वेस्टिंग सोइंग प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सोइल प्लोइंग द फील्ड एंड मैन्यूअरिंग वो सोइल है सोइल मत पढ़ लेना उसको हां वो सोइल है हां बेटा आई एल चला गया वहां से तो फर्स्ट तो यही है ये वाला ये वाला फिर ये है पहले तो एक्चुअली ये आ सकता है ये नहीं सकता आगे नहीं आ सकता इन दो में रहेगा हाँ <laughs> <laughs> क्या हो गया क्या हो गया टाइम वॉज लेस थोड़ा सा आई 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 काइंड ऑफ फेल्ट ठीक है अब देखते हैं आगे मैम लिख दिया आंसर कहा मैंने तो बोला भी नहीं कुछ हम भी। तो डिस्कस कर रहे थे भाई आपस में इन दीज लास्ट टू ऑप्शन ओनली आई वाज कंफ्यूज्ड सो ऑफ कोर्स अगर पहले देखे तो पहले क्या आएगा यस व्हाट वाज अ क्वेश्चन पहले यू हैव वोटेड फॉर पहले क्या आएगा आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ यू गॉट कंफ्यूज्ड विद दिस 
मैन्यूर में भी डन इन दी लास्ट हाँ वो तो है बट वॉट इज द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन ओवर हियर सो यहाँ पे कैन यू हेल्प मी विद फिगरिंग आउट फैक्ट्री की स्पेलिंग भी सी है उसके बाद उससे पहले क्या होगा हार्वेस्टिंग से पहले इधर इरीगेशन ऑफकोर्स इरीगेशन से इरीगेशन विल बी दन उसके बाद में है मेन्योरिंग राइट फिर उससे पहले आ जाएगा सोइंग उसके बाद में क्या आएगा अच्छा मैंने ऑप्शंस कहां का ऑफ ऑफ कोर्स अब यहां पे कोर्स यू टेल मी व्हाट विल बी द फर्स्ट वन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉइल और प्लोइंग ऑफ द फील्ड जल्दी फाइव और सिक्स सी प्लोइंग ऑफ द फील्ड व्हाट इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अ सॉइल नथिंग बट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अ सॉइल में वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द प्रोसेस राइट एंड देन द प्लोइंग विल फॉलो वेरी गुड एवरी सो आई थिंक वी हैड द करेक्ट आंसर चलिए वेरी गुड एवरी वन नाउ लेट्स मूव अड यस आई नो यू सॉ दिक्स ओनली एंड आई दीज टू फाइव एंड सिक्स आर वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अ सॉइल एंड फ्लोइंग इन द फील्ड फर्स्ट विल बी द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉइल एंड देन दी फ्लोइंग गुड चलिए लेट्स मूव अड एवरी वन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन या कंफ्यूजिंग क्वेश्चन है and exam prep test ka matlab hi ye tha all questions will not be easy all questions will not be difficult it was a good mix and today also you see that good mix theek hai that's how like the exam happens bilkul bilkul aa jao aage ha ji are ho gaya jai shri ram mere dost aa jao aage chalo question 21 the sound from a mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wing at average rate of 500 vibrations per second time period of the vibration is टाइम पीरियड वाइब्रेशन इज ठीक है केवल ये मत सुनना मच्छर की गुनगुन विंग्स एट एवरेज रेट ऑफ 500 वाइब्रेशन पर सेकंड टाइम पीरियड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन इज हाउ मच 0.002 सेकंड 0.02 सेकंड 0.2 सेकंड 500 सेकंड द ओनली मिस्टेक यू कैन डू इज कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक सो लेट्स सी अदरवाइज कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक और मिस क्लिक्स ये तो रटा पड़ा है <laughs> The reason I'm saying because in the exam prep test, many students, I'm hoping it was a calculation mistake. That's why I got the wrong answers for this. YouTube poll, it's meant to you know, no need of YouTube poll. Yes, one hundred twelve people got the correct answer. Point zero zero two seconds, and which was quite obvious also. By average rate of five hundred vibrations per second. What is five hundred then? It is the frequency. Frequency is 500 hertz. Okay. Now you have to find time period. What is time period? One upon frequency. मतलब one upon f equals time period. So one upon 500 कितना आएगा? Sir, one upon five होता है point two, point two upon hundred का तो जरा. तो it will be zero point zero zero two. And my friend, this was the correct answer. Option A. Simple. ठीक है? चलें आगे. Yes. <laughs> Vibration of questions. <laughs> few more questions, everyone. Few more questions. Bas, bas, bas. Three more questions. Yes, we'll discuss that. Last time, I think you are saying. I'll just quickly go and back and see. क्या है वहाँ पे? Give me some time. The major difference between the human cheek cell and the onion peel, onion peel cell is what? Presence of the mitochondria in the onion peel. Absence of the plasma membrane in the cheek cell. Cell wall presence in the onion peel cells and absence of the endoplasmic reticulum and cheek cells. Easy, eh? बहुत easy है. <laughs> See, if you know the difference between the animal cell and the plant cells, I'm sure you'll be able to find the answer. That is the only hint I can give you. <laughs> Very good. Ninety-eight of you have voted for the correct answer, and of course, सही है. Onion peel uh, cells में there will be the presence of the cell wall and cell wall is absent in the animal cells mitochondria is present in both and rest all are yesterday only gunun attempted the test <laughs> badhiya very good nice chali next question sir i think second last the, question third question nahi theek hai but wo dekh lete hain apan uh, i think ha ibar ja ke dekh lete hain right ya fir baad mein dekhte hain actually last mein dekh lenge waise options ye the ha i think ye hona chahiye tha actually oh is it ha i think glitch hua hai yahan pe so yeah 
ओके सो वन ट्वेंटी अरे बहुत yes. सही है इट्स ओके यू वर राइट देन कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं बच्चो टेक्निकल एर हो जाता है इट्स ओके okay. चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज नाउ येस इट वॉज ए येस इट वॉज ए कृष्ण तो इट्स ओके बेटा कोई बात नहीं इट्स ओके इट्स ओके अरे इतना का खाने का नाम ले रहे हो यार रुक जो भूख लग रही है क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री टू स्टेटमेंट क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट वन नो साउंड कैन बी हर्ड ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द मून और राइट स्टेटमेंट टू हाई सरफेस टेम्परेचर ऑफ द मून रेस्ट्रिक्ट साउंड प्रोपगेशन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन से इज ओनली स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट सेकेंड ऑप्शन से इज ओनली स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट थर्ड ऑप्शन से इज बोथ आर करेक्ट लास्ट वन से इज बोथ आर इन करेक्ट और इजी क्वेश्चन है बहुत ज्यादा ये यस कम ऑन है ना एवरी वन कमान 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 यस जस्ट गिव हिंट चांद छुपा हाँ जी दैट वॉज एंट हिंट दैट वॉज अ डिस्ट्रैक्शन वन थर्टी फोर पीपल गॉट इट करेक्ट दैट्स वेरी नाइस एंड ध्यान से देखो भाई दैट इज ट्रू देर इज नो साउंड ऑन सर्विस ऑफ मून बिकॉज देर इज नो एटमोस्फेयर बाई साउंड नीड्स वॉट इट नीड्स मीडियम इट्स अ लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वेव इट्स अ मैकेनिकल वेव इट नीड्स अ मीडियम सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट क्या बोल रहा है हाई सरफेस टेम्परेचर ऑफ द मून रेस्ट्रिक्ट साउंड प्रोपोगेशन मतलब कुछ भी है कुछ भी सो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट वॉज जस्ट एनी थिंग इट डजेंट मैटर राइट सो दैट्स वाई स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट Only statement one is correct. Statement two is not correct. ठीक है? Yes. Remember? बिल्कुल. कैसी बात कर दी आपने? <laughs> Everyone, last question of our yes. quiz. All right. When I said कुछ भी नो, I also remember the same thing which you remembered. चलो, आ जाओ. Question twenty four on your screen is now. Okay. Here we have the question, everyone. Okay. Assertion and the reason. Endocrine glands are called as duct. Less glands. The reason for that, which glitch was that? Reason is that they don't release um, hormones directly into the bloodstream. So of course you have to pick either both the statements are correct and a reason is a correct explanation. Either A is and R is true, but the reason is not the correct answer. A is true and R is false, or both are false. Easy peasy, right? So we are talking about the endocrine glands, right? So first statement says that endocrine glands are the ductless glands. Ductless over here means I will not be able to explain you the meaning now. That will give away the answer, but you know the meaning of ductless. Reason they don't release the uh, uh, hormones directly into the bloodstream, and the correct answer. बहुत ही ज़्यादा tough question लग रहा था क्या? So we hear this option was is the correct answer. See, endocrine glands are those glands which are ductless. That means that they don't have a tube or they don't have a pipe for their secretion. They directly secrete their hormones into the blood. So this statement is absolutely correct. Whereas the reason statement is incorrect, or we can say it's false because they do not release the hormones directly into the blood. They do release the hormones directly into the blood. That's why they are called as the Ductless glands. Okay, so everyone, I hope that you have taken a note of it, right? थोड़ा सा confusion हो गया था, but I hope that now you are clear. Yes, we don't have the scores. I think physics team won. Ah, uh, I think uh, so. Yes, very good, everyone. So good. All right, time for the final leaderboard. Physicology. फिजिकोलॉजी कुछ होता भी नहीं है आइदर इट्स फिजियोलॉजी और साइकोलॉजी बट साइकोलॉजी इज डिफरेंट फिजियोलॉजी इज आई थिंक स्टिल बेटर नो एक्चुअली मुझे लगता है फिजिक्स और बायो को कंबाइन करते हैं फिजियोलॉजी बढ़िया चलो ऑलराइट फाइनल वीडियो बोर्ड ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज नाउ देखें जरा क्या चल रहा है व्हाट डू वी हैव हियर एंड आई थिंक चेंज हो रहा है लीडर बोर्ड स्लाइटली आर एस सुल्तान फ्रॉम टीम फिजिक्स यू आर ऑन टॉप बच्चा विद 18725 पॉइंट्स अब होगी दिक्कत बिकॉज योर नेम इज लॉन्ग आई कैन रीड अलॉट ऑफ नेम आदित्य हरसिमरन अंकिता गर्वित गुनगुन अडिवा अडिवा आकाश ऑन एट हिमांशी ऑन नाइन्थ एंड शैली भारद्वाज ऑन टेंथ अरे वाह पढ़ लिया मैंने बात मैम ने पढ़ लिया वैसे तो ऑल राइट वेरी गुड एवरीबडी सो वी हैव गॉट यू कवर्ड 
exam prep test the questions which majority got wrong today we have discussed those questions in a menti format which is like a fun format theek hai is tarah se exam prep test ke wo questions humne discuss kar liye hain scores toppers don't worry we'll re- will yeah, you know we'll release it as a notice board kind of thing theek hai report card type aa jayega don't you worry about this apart from that tumhara ek kaam hai that is to keep learning obviously but to like this session first of all that gives motivation to the teams jinhone exam prep test banaya they made sure you can give test sitting at your home they made sure that you i i think uh, you see those questions which majority are doing wrong and that's why this session was created theek hai press the like button and give some motivation thoda banta hai tumhara hai na share it with your friends or subscribe to kari do bhai hai na share karne se pehle subscribe zaruri hai sawari pehle khud ki sahayata kare fir dusron ki so that's why subscribe and then share all right Yes everyone it was an amazing session i hope that all of you have enjoyed if you're new here please do take a moment and subscribe baki sir ne aapko bata hi diya hai please make sure you hit the like button right and if you have missed the question galat hua hai and it could be that aapko samajh mein nahi aaya during the session please go back and watch it again yes very good very good everyone so i think with this we will be ending our class we will be meeting you again really very soon right please make sure to stay with us on the channel and keep on learning with byjus with that good night everyone all right good night everyone see you keep learning bye, bye.